almost can't help but come to some really cool places whenever you're traveling. And today is one of those days. We're going to check out the Butterfly Palace. We're in Branson, Missouri. And uh, this place is going to be uh, a little different, I think. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Okay, so whenever you come in, they have an identification chart. They also tell you the layout of the overall structure. So there's lots of stuff here. Mirror mazes and um, an area that has like turtles and lizards. And then there's the butterflies. So we're gonna go check out all of those and uh, see what we can get into. This place is really neat. slides and whenever you do that you can zoom in on different parts of animals and uh, it's pretty awesome because you can get super close to like this butterfly wing <laughs> and it looks like this isn't that crazy amazes me that the most beautiful animals are usually the worst. These little frogs are so cool, so bright. They're like orange and red and blue and so pretty and yet they're deadly and poisonous and <sighs> alas, I can't play with them. What a wonderful world. So if you're looking for something and you can't find it in the habitat, they come and they label where they are if they're sleeping. With bees. And here he is. So you follow this really long ramp up to the top and after you get up there that's where the real encounter with the butterflies begins. So we have our interpretive sheet with us. We're ready to go. We're gonna go check it out and uh, here it is. What a wonderful world. to come in there's a double set of doors right here and they have to be closed and then you check yourself in this mirror right here just to make sure you don't cart out any butterflies let's go It smells great in here because of all the flowers that are here to create this great environment for the butterflies. And they have this really cool thing, but I'm 
about a foot and a half too tall for it. But uh, you can get these little nectars and the butterflies will land right on top of them. Or you can go around the little areas that they have the feeding trays. There's live music over here, so I think I'm gonna make my way that way. What a wonderful world. to just have a seat and enjoy the natural surroundings, the butterflies, and all that this area has to offer. This is so serene. Also on the faces of people going by, I see friends shaking hands. wandering around looking for all the different types of butterflies but you have to stop and smell the flowers they smell so good something really cool about the butterfly palace is they give you these wristbands they're good for three full days of admission that means you can come back at any time and do any of the activities check out the special lectures there's videos 3d movies things like that, and you can take advantage of the Science Center, which is downstairs. Three full days. That's right, three days. Now at the very front, they have these little nectar flowers, and so the nectar inside is their own special recipe that attracts the butterflies, so you can get a little bit closer and look. You're not supposed to touch their wings though, so let's see if we can go find a butterfly. Nothing wants to land on my flower. I have to do better. I will. I will get a butterfly. I will. I do not want to give up. I'm going to get one. That's all I want is just one. That's it. So I couldn't get a butterfly, so this wonderful little girl came and gave me one. So I wouldn't feel left out and look how beautiful it is. <gasps> look! They're so pretty. This one is hurt, but that's okay. A broke wing can still fly. And this guy, I was told his name is Ricky Bob, and the little girl who gave me this one also was taking care of him. It's about time for clothes, so we're going to let them go to sleep. Okay. Bye. Say goodbye. The rainbow, so pretty in the sky. So yesterday, I had a little bit of a struggle capturing butterflies. So I decided today, since I have a three-day pass, my little armband, come back. They were red because that's the color of the flowers. Already, I found lots of butterflies. Do you have to pick a new one from here? No, the USDA doesn't allow us to. Oh. Um, these are all tropical species, so they want to control them and make sure we're not allowing invasive species to get out of here. Um, so we're not allowed to let them reproduce. Them. We get two shipments every single week. So how about these one become one of these? Oh, we yeah. can control that because we don't have any of their host plants out there. Oh. Like the monarch requires milkweed to lay its eggs on and the caterpillars eat the milkweed. We don't have any of their whole plants out there, so they can't, uh, they won't reach it. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.
definitely a better day in Butterfly Land. I'm attracting them like in every direction. Oh my goodness. One just landed on my camera even. Taking advantage of my three-day pass twice, I can only say that this is a place that brings you so much happiness. I would suggest coming earlier in the day and wearing red. They love red and uh, you're more likely to get butterflies to land on you if you wear the bright bold color. Now if you are afraid of things landing on you, wear a muted color, they don't like those as much. But this has been the Butterfly Palace in Branson and I would definitely recommend coming here for all ages. So worth it. Let's see some more of those butterflies. They're really sad.